everyone, this is Randy with the Rainbow Juice and today is our first official sale. We have an order for three cases of juice, so what we're going to do um, is give the clients, they're doing a three-day juice fast as a part of their yoga program, and uh, I'm going to give them three cases of a variety pack, so our three, my favorite juices I make, earth juice, sun juice, and moon juice. Right now we're making sun juice, and it's, a, it's the most simple recipe that I have on the menu. Um, it's carrot, pineapple, orange. So I wanted to show everyone how we do our process and why I feel that our product is above and beyond any juice that we've ever had before. We start here. This is called the masticating juicer. It's, I'll turn it on for you. It's slow. It's very slow. Your typical juicer is like, like a million miles an hour. This one's slow. And instead of shredding and annihilating the food, what this does is just kind of squeezes it like a rag and you want to get the juice out of it. And that's what the masticator does. So we'll use this and we'll make almond milks and we'll make almond butters and all sorts of, you know, wheatgrass you could juice in this. Um, the masticating juicer is specialized for greens and carrots, of course, because these don't have much juice in them. Masticating juicer is the way to go. So what we're going to do then uh, we've done about two and a half pounds of carrots, and you can see we only have, I don't know, maybe 15 ounces of juice. Then you're left with the plant fiber. It's like sawdust. There's no juice left in this. And what we'll do with these is we'll make either, you know, we'll make some kind of cookie treat or, uh, you know, pet food biscuits for, you know, herbivores. Uh, and also compost it with worms to make fertilizer for your gardens. Here's just our food processor. I use this for probably everything. I don't use a blender. I like the processor. But I'm not using that for juice. Next we have here, this is our pineapple juice. We've already juiced it. It's already done. You missed out on the fun. But that's pineapple juice. And as you can see, just kind of what pineapple juice looks like. It's like uh, pineapple. -ish. So, first of all, our juicer takes about two to three times longer than your typical, you know, Jack LaLanne juicer or something you find in Walmart. It's a much slower process, but what you're left with is a high quality yield that is absolutely delicious. Like somebody in the juicing community will try the two juices, something that came to a masticator or a centrifugal frugal juicer, and they'll instantly say, well, you know, that's a good juice. We, you can tell the difference, and you can. Now, typical juicer, lemon's a big thing for green juices. Everyone puts lemon in their green juice. And they'll just take the lemon, this is an orange of course, but they'll take the lemon and just pop it right in the juicer, not us. We spend even more time on our product and we send it manually through a press so that we're not getting the bitter pulp in the end. And it's a very time consuming process. But your product is bar none, just uh, a very high quality once you're done with this. Then, here we go, we'll take the peels, and there's two things, it depends how many peels we have in our back stock, we'll either compost them, or we'll set them in a separate bucket and you can soak them in distilled vinegar. You let that sit for, you know, three weeks, four weeks, about a month, and then you have citrus scented cleaner. Spray it on the wall, boom. You never again use, need to use bleach or any of those chemicals, ever again. Also, um, I'll be posting recipes on the site perhaps make a video one of these days, uh, you can take the citrus peels and make candy out of them. I'm sure some people have tried candy peels. So let me just show you how this works. When you're sending something like a carrot through a, a juicer like this, you do not want to jam it in, because it'll clog it up. You gotta be very delicate, kind of let the weight bring it down on its own. And I like to chop them smaller. The other thing you'll notice that's different about rainbow juice is, as you can see here, I have, this is the orange juice that started, we started making our pineapple juice, and of course our carrot juice in the air. Our ingredients are separate. You go online, you watch on YouTube, any other juicer, they're throwing in the same juice box, bam, carrots, bam, oranges, pineapple into the same batch. No, I like to keep them separate, so that when you order a juice from rainbow juice, every single time, your juice is going to taste like the last time you had it. So I have formulated recipes and it is just absolutely delicious and good for you. So good. 
So I guess that's about it. I'll be posting another video. Um, we'll show you briefly how we do moon juice. And then we'll be posting pictures and perhaps another video from our event tonight where we're delivering the juice. Stay in touch and we'll be posting more recipes and videos for you soon. Thank you.